Hi there, I'm Parveen and welcome back to my channel Exploring Me. If you're tuning in for the first time or perhaps less familiar, I'm a data scientist by profession and I use this channel to explore different aspects of my life, both professionally and personally. In today's video, I'm going to be diving into a topic that I get asked about actually quite frequently, which is how do you know that data science is for you? I think because being a data scientist or the field of data science in general is still relatively new, and in many industries is a little ill-defined, this is a huge question for those looking to come into the field. I've come up with five considerations, both in terms of the work itself, as well as the personality traits that best lend themselves to being a data scientist, to share with you in this video that you can keep in the back of your mind as you think about if being a data scientist is for you. So to start off, I thought I would share a little bit about how I fell into my current profession as a data scientist. I think if you had told me even five years back that this is what I would be doing as my career, I definitely wouldn't have believed you because I sort of consider myself the least technologically savvy person in my friend group, but I mean, here I am. So how I fell into being a data scientist started off with my undergraduate degree, actually. I did something that uh, seems to be not connected at all. I majored in biology. In majoring in biology, I really focused my biology degree in cell development and genetics. I was quite interested in genetics and my current uh, university at the time didn't actually have a major in that speciality, so that's kind of how I had to go about it. While I was doing that degree, I opted to do co-op mostly because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my biology degree. Part of that was one of my co-ops was a research assistant out in Summerland, BC. Uh, for those of you that are less familiar, basically a place that is populated with a lot of farms. And I was working in a post-harvest physiology lab. Basically to sum it up, what we were doing was looking for different genetic traits that would allow produce to be best shipped from Canada to other countries. So definitely something that is really interesting in the grand scheme of things, but on the day to day, um, I was doing a lot of wet lab experiments, but this really did get me some great experience in what it means to actually be thinking as a data scientist, which is actually how I found my way to data science. During this co-op, we were doing a very repetitive experiment. Essentially, it was looking at apples and spraying a bunch of iodine on them and recognizing patterns. I'll really spare you all the ins and outs of that experiment. Um, maybe I'm trying to block it out of my own memory, but we were collecting sheets and sheets of information and then just storing it for future reference, but never really referencing it in the future. I remember thinking at the time that there has to be a way to predict this information. I mean, we have rows on rows of information about the same experiment that we do um, every harvest, and we're not really utilizing it to its full capacity. This is what started to get me thinking about uh, sort of computer programming in general, and how we might be able to use the information that we were producing in our experiment to be able to better predict uh, with the other indicators that we were measuring. So with this, once I came back to UBC from my co-op, I started to look into a computer science degree. At the same time, UBC was coming out with its master's program in data science, which is what I actually ended up applying to and getting into. So that's how I sort of academically found myself in the data science profession. So what I've come up with is a list of, I'm looking down at my notes here, forgive me, is five considerations that you should keep in mind if you're thinking about if data science is for you. So this leads to the first consideration that I definitely think you need to keep in mind, which is that as a data scientist, you're definitely science first and data second. And what I mean by this is that data scientists are really scientists first and foremost. Now, instead of petri dishes and chemicals, we use desktops, databases, and data as the sort of subject matter. Data is the subject matter, but the mindset, the workflow, and the ethics of the position are really that of a scientist. If you would prefer to be considering solely optimization, data structure, first and foremost, then perhaps looking into becoming a data engineer might be more up your alley. The next consideration to keep in mind if you are looking into becoming a data scientist is to remember that communication is a really key aspect of the job description. You must really be looking at communication, especially across different disciplines, breaking down complex problems and making them digestible concepts for others on your team. 
You could really be the most skilled machine learning data scientist, but if you can't explain that back to your team in a way that is really value adding to the business or the industry that you're working in, you're going to hit a lot of hurdles as a data scientist. Definitely working as a data scientist, I found that majority of the people that I interact with on the day to day are not as well versed in the different skill sets that I am using. It's really up to me to come up with the best solutions and recommendations to provide to the team and really have them buy into what I I have come up with. So I think that if you are looking to becoming a data scientist, really have to keep in mind that this is not something that you are going to be doing solo. You are going to most likely be part of an interdisciplinary team. And part of that is going to be being a great communicator. Now, the next consideration might be a little bit biased, but I think you need a creative or artsy side. In being a great communicator as a data scientist, I think it's really important to be able to communicate visually especially when you're working with an interdisciplinary team. So whether that be creating stock visualizations in R with a ggplot package or creating interactive dashboards with the plethora of tools that are out there, whether that be Power BI or something like Tableau, creating something that is both compelling and clear as well as aesthetically pleasing is going to go a long way in being a great communicator as a data scientist. So I think that a key consideration if you are looking into becoming a data scientist is whether or not you are interested in creating very aesthetically pleasing visualizations. Another consideration to keep in mind is the day-to-day -day workflow of the job. This really goes for any job that you're looking to get into, but as a data scientist, I think you need to be comfortable with spending majority, if not all your time some days at your desk. So there are definitely days that I go the entire day without speaking to anyone on my team. As much as I just went over communication and working in an interdisciplinary team, there are those days that you are just developing that analysis process, just creating those visualizations that you will then later share, but you have to consider your own lifestyle and your own preferences in work if you are comfortable with spending majority of your day sitting at a desk. The final consideration that I wanted to bring up is that you need to be okay with ambiguity. And what I mean by this is that if you're looking for a job that is going to be really laid out and you are going to have a set of tasks that you are going to work through, I don't think that becoming a data scientist is going to be for you. In being a data scientist, you're definitely presented with problems and questions that can be very vague at times. And it's really your job to make it more clear for your team. And along the way, there's definitely going to be a lot of days where you are just confused and you don't know what your next task is going to be and where you're taking it, but you're really working through that problem. Going back to the first point, you're really a scientist first. So if you're looking to get into data science, you really need to be okay with not exactly knowing where you're going on the day to day. That wraps up my five key considerations that you should keep in mind if you are looking to get into the field of data science and becoming a data scientist yourself. Of course, these are my own opinions and are coming from my own professional experience, but if you have other considerations that you would like to suggest, please leave them in the comments below and I'd love to hear from you. If you're looking to find more data science related content, I do have other videos on this topic, including my day in the life of a data scientist, and I'll make sure to link that in the description below. Other than that, I hope you consider subscribing and sticking around. Thanks for joining me.